We're all situated. Hair's gone. Looking cute. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? I hope you are all doing well. So in today's video, I'm going to go over what is in my empties bin, everything that I have been using up. All right, so we're going to start with hair care. I just finished using up Suave Max Hold Volumizing Mousse. This is, nah, it's okay. I don't know if it really gives you volume, um, but if you need a mousse, it, it doesn't have like a, it says max hold on it, but it doesn't give you like that crunchy feeling in your hair. Um, I like to use this and maybe a little bit of gel and I'll put it on my ends and then usually I'll curl my hair. I've had this for a while and I just started using mousse again. So it was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it if I had to. I've been liking um, other stuff better. It did its job, but yeah, it was just okay. The next product is going to be IGK, the Beach Club is what it's called. And this is just a texturizing spray, volumizing texturized spray. Really good for volume. I like picking it up and just kind of spraying it in and it gives me really good volume. It's actually out. I was hoping there'd be some in there, but it's really good. I like this. I would repurchase this again. Works great, smells great. Definitely like the smell of it, but it's completely empty. I went to go use this one day and didn't realize it was out. So I do like this. I would repurchase this again. I think this is like $29 at Ulta, but definitely worth the, the money. Next, I'm going to do perfume. So, I've been buying the travel size perfumes um, just to see what I like and what I don't like, um, what I use up quickly. I bought Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes and I clearly used it all up. I really enjoyed this. I actually want to go repurchase this again. So that's why it's in my empties so I can repurchase this. My husband really likes vanilla smells so I've been trying to find stuff that we both like and this is very soft it's very soft vanilla it doesn't last all day i wouldn't say it would last like eight hours but maybe a good five six hours it does last but it smells it's a soft vanilla it's not like super strong or in your face it's just a very soft vanilla and i find that you can layer this too i like to layer this perfume so would i repurchase this yes definitely I would actually, I think in my loves list in Sephora, I think I have a bigger size because I really do like this product. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of skincare. I'm gonna start with moisturizer and I used up Cetaphil moisturizing cream. So I use this whole thing up. There is nothing left. This is really good for the little bumps on your arm. Like I get them right here, right here, and I get them on the sides of my legs, like underneath my hip area. So this is really good. It's a moisturizing cream for very dry, sensitive skin, and it works great. It's not greasy. It doesn't leave your skin greasy. A lot of times I'll put this on my legs, I'll put it on my arms, and I'll put it like on my chest area and on my shoulders, and it's just great for hydration. I loved it so much. I actually went and repurchased two more over at BJ's. They had um, a twin pack, so I just bought both of them. So I really like this product. I would recommend it. I don't know what is in this stuff, but this is a miracle cream and I would swear by this. So would I repurchase? Yes, definitely I have and I will continue using this. All right, next skincare, I'm going to go in with uh, CeraVive, the ultra light moisturizing lotion with SPF 30. I actually just started using this. I want to say maybe two months ago, back in December, I started wearing this with the SPF. Maybe it was November. I'm not really too sure, but it's been a few months and I liked it so much that I actually went and got another one. I did enjoy it. It's very light. It's moisturizing, has SPF in it. I wanted something to start putting SPF into my skin to care routine. And so I did some research and I found that this was like actually highly recommended. I don't know if I'm going to switch over to CeraVe, but... I seem to like their products and my daughter uses it and she likes their products so it might be a household skincare item we might start using i know when i run out of this stuff i am definitely running back to go get more because i gotta get that spf in there somehow another skincare product that i used up is glam glow moisturizer i use this at nighttime 
I really enjoyed it. So would I repurchase it? Uh, if I had another one or I got one set in PR, I would, but I wouldn't go out and spend my money. I actually believe I had this for a while and I got it maybe in the summertime. I'm not really too sure when I got this. Obviously I used it up recently because it was in my empties. I've been trying to get rid of things I don't use very often. It was nice, moisturizing, hydrating, definitely great for like a nighttime routine, but I wouldn't repurchase this. It just, I think it's a little pricey for me and it's not something I have to have in my uh, skincare routine. So while this product is great, I'm not downing the product. It's just not something I feel that I need in my skincare routine. Another one is the number seven Restore and Renew Multi Action Eye Cream. I bought this because I was on a hunt for really good eye cream and I heard good things about number seven. I didn't notice a difference. It kept everything the same. So obviously this is the only one I've used. I've used it up in its entirety. I would not repurchase this and I wouldn't recommend it. It did keep my under eye area hydrating. Like there wasn't any dry spots I noticed. Um, sometimes I get like dry spots like right here where I use the tape, like right in the crease. So it helps with like like dry spots underneath my eyes. This did help with that. I mean, if that's what you're looking for, that's great, but I want it more. Like I want something that deep puffs under here cause I have the lines and it didn't do that, but it did um, hydrate underneath my eyes. So that's what this is really good for. The next is the Pore Professional Pore Primer from Benefit. I got a sample in my last Sephora haul and it was okay. To me, it feels like it's got like a silicone base in it. It was just okay. It, it's not my favorite and I'm not gonna go out and purchase this. I didn't find anything special about it because I have a, a lot of oil, especially on like my forehead right here because my bangs and I get real oily like right in here. And then sometimes I'll get it here and here. So I guess my T-zone is where I get it. And I didn't find that it helps with any oil. So I wouldn't repurchase that. Another skincare routine is the Tasha the Silk Canvas. I ordered this in a set probably last year and I just finished it up probably the beginning within the past six months I've finished this up and it's a primer. Uh, I used it all over my face. It did a great job. I enjoyed this product. Would I repurchase it? I haven't. It didn't stand out for me. It did its job. It was great. I would go spend my money for it. I think Tasha is a little bit on the pricier side and I'm just there's other products that I'm trying out that I really do enjoy so I wouldn't run out and purchase this one either. Another I used up the fourth ray radiant vitamin c serum so this is like color pops like sister brand and i used it all up um at first it was really hard for me to use it all up it wasn't bad but i didn't find it made my skin any more radiant so i actually went and repurchased another vitamin c serum um that wasn't part of this brand so i went and repurchased this I feel like it kind of made it oilier so it wasn't, it wasn't all that. It wasn't what it was cracked up to be. And that's really all I have to say about that. Continuing with skincare, the Ordinary Hy Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. I enjoy this. I do enjoy this very much so. I have repurchased this over and over and over again. Last year I was looking to update my skincare and I wasn't sure where to start. Uh, I heard really good reviews about The Ordinary. So I started with The Ordinary. I was kind of switched up between The Ordinary, Good Molecules. There was a couple other brands that I looked into, but I was getting pimples and it wasn't usually like, maybe it was that time of the month I'd get like one or two. I don't break out anymore ever ever since I started using The Ordinary. Every once in a while I do. Like I think I had one here a couple weeks ago, but it didn't like come to a head, you know, where you feel like you have to pop them. I didn't get that. It was, I could just feel it underneath my skin. So whatever is in this stuff works. I have oily combination skin. I have a couple of dry spots on my face, but my T-zone gets really oily. Like I said, I moisturize my face day and night. So I try to stay with the moisturizer and um, apply it maybe a little bit more where I might feel I am drier. Um, that seems to work for me, but this stuff is the bomb. I absolutely love this uh, brand. So I will continue to use this. I really enjoyed this one. I enjoy their moisturizer. I'm not a big fan of their face wash. Retinol, 0.5% squalene and the manadelic acid 10% and HA. These I use at nighttime. I rotate between these two. I do enjoy this brand, the whole brand. I enjoy it. Hey, The Ordinary, if you guys send out PR packages, I'm your girl. This stuff is awesome, all their products. The only thing I don't like is their their face wash. I have their toner, everything. It's 
it's a great product line to start with. And you can also go onto their website and they tell you exactly what each one does and when to use it. It tells you on the packages what it does. A lot of it's for uneven skin tone. If you have extreme um, oiliness or if you have dry skin, what products are best. I think their website is spot on. Definitely enjoy this brand. So I continue to repurchase this. So yes, I definitely enjoy the Ordinary. Another one I've used up is the Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCG. And pretty much what this is, is just for reduced appearance of eye contour, pigmentations, and puffiness. Keeps your under eyes hydrated. Puffiness, I don't think it helped with puffiness, but it definitely hydrated underneath the eyes. It also helps with like the crow's feet right here. I found that that definitely worked for like the crow's feet. When I smile, I have smile lines. See, I have smile lines here. My forehead's wrinkly. It happens. It's called getting older. But the crow feet right here, I find that it helps with that. So I would repurchase this. Um, I just haven't made an ordinary placement yet, but I will when I start running really low. But uh, number seven, dark spot corrector. I didn't like this. It didn't work. It Point blank, it did not work. I have a dark pigmentation right here from sun. It didn't do anything. It didn't lighten it. It, it did not do a damn thing. So would I repurchase this? Absolutely not. I would use this constantly at nighttime and put it right here, just, just right here and let it set in. And I did it for 35 days straight and it never lightened. You know, it did lighten it. The faded topical, that's what's helping right here. I can't even say it, it's right here. A little bit. Um, the center of it is lightened. I find that it does get a little crusty um, in the morning time. I just take an exfoliator and I'll exfoliate my face and then come back and actually use the ordinary hyaluronic acid and it, it keeps it hydrated. But this is working. I don't use this every day. I don't. I use it maybe three times, maybe four times a week. But like I said, I've been rotating my nighttime skincare. But this stuff, this stuff is the bomb. I would recommend this over the number seven dark spot corrector serum. That, that was trash. That didn't do anything. That was a waste of my money. This, don't get. Dark spot correcting serum from number seven, don't get. It's trash. It doesn't work. It does not get rid of any pigmentation at all on your skin. Waste of money. If you want to waste your money, you can throw it my way. Just saying. Let's do lips. I have Revolution London. I bought a um, liquid lipstick and matching lip liner. Trash, 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 trash. This, you push, you put it on your lips and you push it and it crumples. It just doesn't, I mean, look, do you see that tip? It just crumples. I've sharpened it, I've done everything and it just, it's so creamy that when you sharpen it, it stays inside the sharpener. When you pull it out, it's a mess. You put it on your lips, it's a mess. It's not good. Then I have the um, matching lip. This is actually a liquid lipstick. I really want to try the browns out and see how it looked on me. It looks okay. The color's really good, but it's, this is ultra matte. I don't mind a matte lipstick by any means. I don't. I actually prefer matte lipsticks, but this is so matte that it hurts my lips. I've used it, I got my uses out of it. You can tell it's pretty full. I just, no, it's not for me. So with that being said, I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw this in the trash. It's not something I enjoy using. And the color I bought was Bow Down. Next one is Stone by Dose of Colors. This was a mini. I've had this mini for well over a year and a half. And this one is in Heartbreak. I liked both of these. I like these so much that for this past, so what was it November 2022, I bought the actual full size. I've enjoyed these. I like the way they feel. They have a matte formula, glides down. It, it's just, God damn, they're perfect. I really enjoyed the minis. I know they look full, they're time to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these away. I've used them, I've enjoyed them, and I bought the full ones. I have the Urban Decay, the D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. Yes, 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 yes. I love this stuff. Oil control, Um, it controls my oils. I wanna say that the last time I've used it, the only time I noticed oiliness is from my hair 
onto my forehead. I mean, it happens. I'm not gonna hold the product saying that it's, it's a bad product because I get oily right up here from my hair from work and product works. Does great, doesn't transfer onto my mask. So would I repurchase this? Absolutely, 100%. So when Ulta 21 Days of Beauty comes up and these are on sale, yeah, I'm picking these up. They're good. The next one I picked up was a Wet n Wild No Bad Days Stitch. I got this at my local Walmart. I think this is just the cutest bottle ever. I really do. Did it work? Absolutely. It did what I wanted it to do. It kept my makeup in place. Um, I did find that I was a little oily or more oily at the end of the day. If I go to work for, I don't know, seven hours, I come home, my face is really oily, but I can find that I'll come home and I just, I wash my face because I can't stand my face being oily and nasty. And a lot of times I'll just come home, wash my face and just let it air dry for a couple of hours before I go to bed. I would repurchase this. This had a really good smell to it, but it's limited. Oh, I was just reading. It's limited edition. So I would repurchase another uh, Wet n Wild setting spray. I enjoyed it. Um, I thought the spray was great. Uh, I don't think it really gave me much hydration, but it worked. My makeup stayed all day and I can't complain. So I will probably be testing out some more Wet n Wild products. Yeah, I could see that happening. I also picked up from this collection, I love Stitch. I think he's the cutest little character ever. When I redid my, uh, well, I didn't, but when my husband and I built my computer, I actually put stickers of Stitch all over it and I bought some figurines to put inside the case that you could see. So I really enjoy Stitch the movie. I have a sticker on the back of my phone. I'm a Stitch fan. So I did not get the palette though. I contemplated it, but in the end I was just like, I haven't really tried Wet n Wild's formula. I just didn't purchase it. I purchased this and a makeup sponge with the little surfboard, which they're actually inside my computers. All right, next. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This is gone. Absolutely gone. I took the top out, dug it out. There's nothing in there. Nothing in there. I have scraped this as much as you can. 40N I found was a little, a little too dark for me. It actually left like a, a line. It wasn't super bad. You couldn't really tell when I had a mask on at work. So I enjoyed this. I would, I have repurchased it since then. I have picked up Fair 20 Neutral and this seems to work really good too. So I enjoy the product. I have repurchased and I will repurchase more. When I get darker, I'll probably bump up to a 40, 60. I enjoy this product. So I would I recommend it? Yes, it's creamy. It's definitely creamy. Um, I find that I use either a small beauty blender or sometimes I'll just use my fingers and just kind of dab it out and it works great. It stays in place. Sometimes I don't set my face in the morning. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget to put on primer, like face primer, and I have no issues with this. This stays in place all day. I use my fingers. I put it where I want. And if I want to leave it like that all day, it'll last. And I really, really appreciate that about this concealer. So with that being said, would I repurchase this? Absolutely, this is my favorite concealer. Next, let's do eyeshadow primers. Okay, so I got a mini eyeshadow primer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This little primer lasted me a good four months. I actually ran out on the 31st of January of this year. And I had been using this for a while. I wanna say I started using it maybe October, the end of October. The end of October, I think I started using this. And this lasted me one, two, okay, so maybe three months, but it felt like a long time, okay? This is good stuff. I would repurchase a full size. I like this one more than the next one that I'm about to talk about. It leaves like a little bit of a white cast on your skin, but I find that that didn't bother me. It really didn't. At first it did, it was different, but when you put your eyeshadow on top of it and blend it out, I use a lot of um, skin tone colors to blend out uh, like the top edge of my eyes. So the, that color or product, that matte skin colored eyeshadow worked perfect. And this would go away in seconds is when I put that on top of it. I never set it. I just put this on and then would go in with my eyeshadow. This worked really good. I enjoyed it. Would I repurchase this? Yeah, I would repurchase this more than the Urban Decay. I'm actually using the Urban Decay Eden primer. I would repurchase the Anastasia one. I just threw it in the basket and lost it. I would repurchase that one more over purchase, purchasing an Urban Decay um, Eden. The actual one that I enjoy is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the anti-aging one. I like this one more. I would repurchase this one. 
but I'm trying to pull back or away from Urban Decay. I'm just using up what I already have, if that makes sense. I know I really didn't like this one, but since I've used the Anastasia Beverly Hills and it had that white cast over top of it, this one, it, it doesn't seem to bother me anymore. Some Like before, it did bother me. I don't know why, it was just a me thing. But now it doesn't bother me. I actually take this and I'll swipe it on my eyes and I'll take my, what brush is this? This is a Precision Round P82 from Sigma. And then I just take this one and I just kind of blend it into my eye and then I go to town with my eyeshadow. So it doesn't bother me the way it used to, but I do want to finish this, finish this one up. The one that I did finish up was the Primer Potion. This is all gone. I can't get anything else out of it. I've tried. It's completely flat. I can feel the little doe foot applicator in there. I've actually squeezed it out trying to get product out. Um, I do enjoy this one. I want to find other products that I like better. So don't foresee me purchasing this again. But maybe I will. I'm not saying that I'm not going to. If they were on sale for like all to 21 days of beauty, I might perk pick up another one of these. I'm not saying I wouldn't, but I did enjoy this one. But if Anastasia was on sale and it was this one or this one, Oh, by sure, I would pick this one up. I really enjoyed this one, so there's my answer on that. All right, we only have a few more products left. A while ago, I did an e.l.f. video using the Bite Size eyeshadow palettes, and I have officially decided to declutter truffles. Okay, it lays the pigment down, the black works, the, the silvers, meh. I like my eyeshadows very pigmented. I want them to stand out. I want the darks to be dark and I found that I could over blend these so when you blend them out it softens the look. That's okay. These were not meant to be blend out. You can blend them out a little bit but if you keep over blending you can blend them right off. Like I don't know what happened to the pigment. Um, it took me a while to figure out what I was doing wrong. So are they bad? Is this a bad product? No, it's not a bad product. These, they do work, okay? Everybody has different styles. Everybody has different ways of putting on their makeup. For me, I like mine to be blended or look like it's blended together. And a lot of times these two browns would just look like mud. Just just mud. They looked like two browns, mud. So I had a really hard time personally um, achieving the looks that I wanted with this palette. So I decided to get rid of it. So that's why it's in my empties bin. I wouldn't recommend this one. I have other ones that I would prefer. I definitely prefer the rose water. I enjoy this one. This one I really like. The cream and sugar. This one I really like too. I prefer other ones over that one in particular. I'm just going to declutter this. I have blacks, I have browns, and I have a silver in my Sydney Grace collection. I would use those over this any day of the week. My next product is going to be NYX Eyebrow Powdered Pencil in the shade Blonde. I have repurchased this over and over and over again. The last time I went to Walmart was this past weekend and I actually looked for it. So apparently every time I go to Walmart, it's, but when I do go to Walmart, I'm like, oh, let me stop by the makeup section and see if there's any more NYX. The last time I went, they didn't have any more. I already have a backup. I seen that they were on sale a few weeks ago and I grabbed two and then I went back and then that was even cheaper than before. So I picked up another one. I use these products so much, probably since I want to say January, I have picked up three and I only have one backup. I enjoy them. I think they look great. I have no issues with applying the color, creating the way that I want, but I've also found that I like underneath my eyes right here to be a little bit more snatched. So I've actually picked up the NYX Lift and Snatch in the shade Taupe. I enjoy this. Recommend keeping this straight up and down. I had mine laying down like this and there is a hole at the top where the product comes through. I guess that's just to let the air in get goopy and I've noticed that I've had um, stuff on my fingers from it. Uh, so I'm going to highly recommend you keep these standing up if you can. That's just my product recommendation on that one, but I use those two almost every day together. I like this product. I will repurchase it if I can find it. Hopefully my local Walmart will restock them. If not, I'll have to go to a different Walmart because I really, really enjoy this product. I have been using it for years. It's my go-to all the time. The only complaint, the only complaint that I have about that is when you get down and you're sharpening it, and I'm like, man, I feel like I'm getting really close because when you sharpen it all the way down, it's not attached to anything. So the product will come out. 
that is really my only complaint. And when the product come out, it's not this much. It's like that much. Like the nub of it dropped off and I'm all done. I love this. I have repurchased it. We'll continue to use it as long as they make it. This is the one that I have right now. And then I have one back up. So I love, I love NYX for their eyebrow products. I really do. And I have continued to repurchase them and I enjoy them. All right, last but not least, I have some mascaras. The Thick and Fast High Definition Collagen Coat Mascara. This is dried out, but the wand is just one of those funky wands. There you go. One side's flat, and then you have another side that has like the buffer on it. So you use this side first. Oh, let me try that again. You can use this side first, then you go on with this side up here. It's a little bit wonky. It took me a long time to get used to it. I wouldn't repurchase this. I think I got it during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and the formula just dried out. So no, I wouldn't repurchase this. It didn't stand out in my in my eye. So the Maybelline Sky High Lash, the Lash Sensational. It went crazy on TikTok. It's okay. It's okay. I like eyelashes that like extend and go boom in your face. It made my lashes long, but it didn't give me the volume that I wanted. So this did really good on my lower lash lines. And I could see applying one coat of this and then using the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. This gives me volume. This gives me length. So I've combined these two before we're all going with this to my lower lash line. And then I'll use this one for my upper lashes. And I love the way my look comes out. I'm not a big fan of doing my lower lash lines. If I do do my lower lash lines, I will use the Ulta Beauty Legendary La Lengthening Mascara. I'll use this one. I enjoy this one. A little wet, makes it long. And then I will go in with the, um, the falsies from Maybelline. This is the one that I enjoyed. I enjoyed this one so much that I actually went back to Walmart one day when we were looking at stuff and they had a, a double pack of them. There was two in one pack. I think I spent like 10, 11 bucks for two of them. And I was like, well, I enjoy that product. And I get two of them for like the same price as one. Absolutely. So I picked that one up. So I have one that I'm currently using and one in backup that I haven't used yet. Once this one runs out, I will use the backup. So I enjoyed the Maybelline Falsies, uh, the Sky High, not so much. One last product that I have is BH Cosmetic Brilliant Bronzer and Bronze Babe. This is just too dark for me. I've tried and tried and tried to use it and I find that it actually just sits in my collection and I don't use it. It's too dark. I might be intimidated. I've tried it on. It's just okay and it's really hard to blend out. So, and now BH is owned by Makeup Revolution, so chances are I probably won't buy any more products from BH. I'm not saying never, I'll never buy it. I'm saying that currently I'm not looking at them. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm not interested in using it. It doesn't look good on me. It's not my color. It's too dark. Yeah, I'm just not gonna use it. That is it. That is it. That's everything that I've been using probably in the past six months. All right, guys. So now that my dogs are awake and want attention, all done with the product reviews. Most of this I would repurchase. Some of it I won't. So glad that I can get rid of these now. So this is my little basket for all my empties. This is where I throw everything when I want to do a review. So thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below on products that you continue to repurchase. What's one of the products that you love to use and you keep purchasing. Hopefully I will see you in my next video. I want you to hit that like button and then hit the subscribe so you will be aware of the next time I upload a video. Thank you for watching. Bye guys, have a great day. Make sure you stay hydrated and drink your water. Bye. Sorry, did you try to get up in the video? You trying to get up in the video? You trying to get up in this video? Aw, yeah, I love you too, babies. There's my babies. You gonna come? Come. I have another lap. Come. Come. I have another lap. Oh, my babies are loving. Now she's under my desk. What are you doing under my desk? <laughs>